गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सम कैरेक्टराइजेशन ऑफ नैनो सेलुलोस नैनो सेलुलोस नेचुरली ड्राइव क्रिस्टलाइन नैनो मेटल इन इज इमर्जिंग एज अ सस्टेनेबल बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक फॉर फ्यूचर एडवांस मटेरियल्स नैनो सेलुलोस कैन बी प्रिफर्ड बाय फाइनली लूजिंग the natural hierarchical structures of trees plants and so forth nearly down to the size of the cellulose microfibrils where cellulose molecules are linearly assembled into cellulose crystalline structured by intermolecular hydrogen bonds and van der waals force toxicity mechanical properties of nanocellulose coupled with low toxicity and high chemical stability offer potential benefits for applications such as nano composites films gels rheology modifiers emulsions abundance and uh, renewability of nanocellulose distinguishes it from existing all waste nanomaterials and therefore nanocellulose is expected to be used as a sustainable alternative in variety of fields in case of ftr analysis uh, there is the peak in the around uh, 1600 per cm the absorption band appeared near 1600 per cm and was assigned to be asymmetric carboxylate stretch in vibration uh intensity increase with increasing oxidation time this is the carboxylate uh stretch in band uh, near about 1600 per cm in case of uh, c13 nmr analysis uh the uh new peaks assigned to carbonyl carbon atom appeared at 170 to 180 ppm after the oxidation reaction in case of oxide analysis uh the oxide patterns of raw and oxidized poles the cellulose crystal structure was maintained after the oxidation but diffraction peak of the 200 plan became broader with increasing oxidation time to ablate the uh, effect and crystal size of the 200 plan was calculated using the sure sure equation based on the full weight of the maximum peak height as a result we confirm that the crystal size of the raw material was reduced from 3.4 to 2.8 nanometer after 6 hour oxidation uh in case of a scanning probe microscopic analysis the number of average and uh weight average length decrease and level of the approximately uh 180 and 300 nanometer in case of 2 hour oxidation and the uh, length is going decreasing on the time of oxidation the svm height of the nanocellulose also decreases with increasing oxidation time and average value decrease down 2.7 nanometer which is comparable with the individual wood derived microfibrils the nanocellulose shows wide length distribution and some microfibrils are lengths near 1 micrometer Additionally, the average uh, scanning probe microscopic height is lower than that of the typical uh, cellulose nanocrystalline from wood, three to five nanometer. Therefore, longer fibril in the nanocellulose so it bent structure, unlike cellulose nanocrystalline. Smart reference. Thanks for your watching. Thank you for your patience. and that's just now bye bye so again